All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at a Playmobil Pirate Series set called the Naval Schooner. This is almost a perfect re-release duplicate of one that they did in 1991. It's great that they brought it back in that form because it looks really good. It has a nice color scheme to it. I like, personally, the printing that they put on the sails. They even have the the, uh, the reef lines going through there for shortening up the sails, although you can't actually do that. But what I like about this personally the most is just how much rigging is involved. You actually do have to cut a lot of, of line and tie a lot of knots throughout this whole thing. And you need, you need to give it some care and, and some thought and really make sure that, that things have the right amount of, of tension. And the result is something that, that looks really nice on display. And again, with the color scheme, with that kind of orange color, and then just a little bit of the, the off yellow, the kind of mustard yellow that they use, just gives a couple of really nice, uh, lively wood tones. And I also really like the shape of the hull, especially around as you come up towards the transom section. This is inspired by a period in naval history when big sailing ships were on their way out, were about to be very suddenly very surprisingly replaced by steam powered ships and eventually internal combustion but non-wind powered things and the technology of wind powered craft had just been moving forward and moving forward it was actually doing really nice things for for the days and for the materials and for the types of construction that were available at, at the time, and you end up getting this, this really beautiful design. Lots of really nice craftsmanship, nice engineering involved in, in a boat like this. But uh, like I said, it's the days of things like this were, were quite numbered when ships of this sort of design were around. I really like the, the planks that they have on there. That is a little wheel down under there. They actually have wheels on the bottom of this thing so you can easily move it forward and back, you know, just for the, for the play value. And this is my favorite section back here, especially how it is. You have those compound curves, very difficult to make that when you're actually doing boat building. You have to heat up and steam up the, the wood to allow it to be flexible and you flex it just into place and you just get these really beautiful lines. This is a single sticker, the one sticker in this set to create this, this large emblem section on the back where it has some representations of, of flags and, and the, the kingdom coat of arms there. There is your wheel with the captain at the helm. It does have a cargo hold and that's integrated into the deck pretty nicely. When I open that up, there's just an empty space right there because there's actually an area where you can tuck away your cargo underneath. I just gotta shake this forward and then there's this case here. Take that out. And this is just a chest and you can open it up and you can store things inside of there. They don't include any treasure with this set, but there are some extra accessories that you can put in there that I'll show you a little later on. There's also just a little bit of storage all the way at the back. I almost forgot about that. You can just fit some, some weapons and small accessories into. There are two cannons that are mounted towards the front and they're done in kind of a gold design representing bronze barrels and you can elevate these and bring them down and they can also be detached completely and they come with wheels so you can use these on land and still have all their functionality of aiming and shooting and just to the front of where those go you have storage for an anchor off to the side and there's a working windlass so you can actually let that out and this uses a, a thicker form of cord not the same uh, diameter that's used for all the the rigging of all the the sails and things so it's just a little bit closer to looking like real chain you can just drop that down the boat does actually float as well and you can even attach one of the electric motors to this to make it go this set comes with a pretty good sized crew obviously you've got your captain over on the left and he has a sextant which is an old navigation device for calculating or, or determining angles to stars and other objects in the sky to help you to figure out where you are in the world. This next one with the, the top hat, I, I don't know if he's supposed to be like an aristocrat, a nobleman, or possibly a diplomat. I don't know what his official role is, but that's up to you to decide. And then there are three just regular crew members with the two different 
hair colors and two different faces. You get the uh, megaphone there for doing some signaling. You also get a couple of signaling flags. And there's also the ship's dog is <laughs> included with this set. And this dog has the ability to uh, articulate at the, the neck. So the head comes up, it can also come down for feeding, and you can also bring the tail up all the way or bring that down. Not a whole lot to see from the backs here, not a whole lot of printing or decoration. This is the, the captain has the, the most difference to him and also he has a different print on one side of his, his headgear there. And then there are these figure accessories, mostly weapons, but also a boat hook and a small little <laughs> shovel and an ax. If you want, you can put a lot of this stuff into the, the chest that's in the cargo hold to use that as what you're actually transporting around, or you can just keep, them, keep some of them handy in that small compartment on the aft deck. Strangely, I feel like there's really not a lot that I can say or even really should say about the ship in this set. I think if you appreciate this sort of thing, then you'll appreciate what you, what you see in it. It'll just make sense to your eyes, to your mind, and maybe even to your heart. Just a lot of, a lot of this is just done really nicely, and, and I think it will appeal to a number of different classes of people for different reasons. You know, there's a little bit of the, the naval war history, just a little bit of, of ship design history here, a little bit of Playmobil history, and even just as a toy, or just as a display item. Either way, there are a lot of different ways, I think, to like this. And I personally, at least, didn't find much to dislike about it. And I, I did look, I tried to give it a fair shot of of finding things to, to criticize, but uh, I kind of failed. I did re-rig uh, one of the, the four sails, the, the front, the forward sails, just to, to bring it a little bit more in line with what I'm, I'm used to, but you could go either way with that. And there are options, you, know, you can move them to either side. And yeah, there's, there's really not that much to, to complain about with this thing as I, as I look it over. So I'm personally really happy with this, but I'm looking forward to hearing what you think about it. Please leave your thoughts in a comment down below for myself and for the other viewers to see. Thanks so much for watching. I hope I showed you everything you wanted to see here. I'll be talking to you again very soon.